What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we are talking about sling. Welcome back everybody. Like I said, we're gonna be talking about slings. We're gonna talk about the how they attach to the rifle. We're gonna talk about the different materials that they're made out of, the different points of contact, and how to properly put it on, and just some great information about slings. But I have been getting a lot of questions about this, especially from newer users to the rifle. Uh, I just did a little video a while back talking about how to properly put it on because that is one of the biggest things that I do get as far as how to properly put it on, especially from newer to novice users with rifles and slings and stuff. But to start out, let's talk about material. You've got ballistics nylon, like what both of these are made out of. Both of these are made out of ballistics nylon. This is actually ballistics nylon and bungee. As you can see, it stretches out and comes right back, so bungee. Then you've got neoprene or rubber, and you've also got leather. Now, real quick, just to touch on the neoprene, the rubber, and the leather, those are honestly a little bit more of what I call your hunting slings. Uh, those would attach down at the bottom around the buttstock somewhere and then somewhere up around toward the end of the muzzle or close to the end of the muzzle and you would just sling it over your shoulder because you're out hunting. It wouldn't sling across your chest or anything like that. Uh, we'll talk, I'll show you here in a little bit when I talk about actually how to put the sling on and how to use it and things like that here shortly. But that's the different types of material that you have. Now, the different ways that they attach to the rifle. You've got QD swivel, you've got locking swivel, you've got clip and hook, you've got sling latch plates. Those are the different ways that they attach and you've also got options to where if you've got just Picatinny rails, so like this one and as you can see you've got the chamber cleared, it's locked to the rear. Uh, with the Picatinny rails there are way uh, attachments that you can buy that will go onto the Picatinny rail and allow you to attach it to your rifle. Um, this has got the M lock, so I've got the M lock up here on this hand guard, and back here on the buffer tube, I've got just a little attachment system from Tactical Link that goes around the buffer tube but still allows the buttstock to be used just like what it would be. The plate is this plate right here that, fit, that goes in between the wing nut and the upper. You can swap that out where you've got clip and hook or you've got QD. Me personally, I like the QD because it's a little bit easier to use. Plus, I can go from single point to double point, which we'll talk more about here in a second. But I just want to go over how these things attach. Um, M-Lock, Key Mod, Picatinny, different, there's all kind of different ways that you can get to where these will attach to your rifle so you can put your sling on here. Now, like I said, this is the ballistics nylon. It's also the bungee. The other sling here is ballistics nylon, but as you can see, a lot thicker. Let's hold both of them up here. So this one's a little bit wider because this is actually padded. This is a Viking Tactics padded sling. There's all kinds of options out there. I like the padded sling. Uh, I still use this ballistics nylon. As you can see, it's on this rifle, but it's not my main, my main rifle, it is something that gets used from time to time, but my main rifle has this padded sling on it, and still it's got QD attachments on it. And you can buy these, you can swap them out, clip and hook, QD, it's really up to you. Now, the different types, or I shouldn't say really say the different types, different ways these are going to actually have points of contact. So you've got a single point sling, a double point sling, and then you also have a triple point sling. And then you've got some that are called backpack slings and things like that. Uh, what the backpack sling does, it's actually made by uh, Viking Tactics. It actually splits, so this, your sling right here would actually break apart and you'd actually sling it over your back like a backpack. So there's tons of different options out there. For me, I like a conversion sling that goes from single point to double point. All right? So what I'm talking about is I can, you can see here on 
this one I've got a double point sling. It's attached here and it's attached back here. So this is a two point sling, double point sling, however you want to say it. So attachment here, all right? Attachment here. Now, I like to have the two point sling if I'm teaching a class or let's say I'm in a class, I'm taking a class and we're just kind of hanging out chilling uh, and just want something comfortable because with a two point sling, it slings more across the body. Where a single point sling is just going to hang pretty much straight up and down parallel with the body. And when you're walking and moving around, that thing can start slapping around. And I've seen guys get hit in the junk uh, with those types of slings. Now, yes, you can slide it one way or the other, but sometimes people don't always think about that. So that is your, that's your two point. And as you can see, the QD, it'll just pop right out. And I've got my attachment here on the sling. We'll go right into we'll cooperate. Now we've got a single point sling. There's one point of contact to the rifle. Now, I'll, again, I like having being able to go between the two because if I'm actually going to start getting out and doing some work on the range, a lot of times, or if I'm doing any type of room clearing, close quarter stuff. I like the single point because it gives me a little bit, little bit more maneuverability, especially if I have to go shoulder to shoulder and things like that. We're not going to get into that today. I'm going to have some great training videos that are coming out pretty soon to go over that shoulder to shoulder transition. So that's why I like being able to go between two point and one point. Now your three point sling, you're going to have your two, so let's go ahead and take this back. I always like to make sure it's not twisted. Put it back on here. You have your two points on the rifle. Your third point would be on you. Now the way that looks is it would look if we go back over to your single point. Some of those, all right, would be we'll cooperate. It'll look just like this. Okay, it'll sling around your body, and then it kind of has a little. A little bit longer piece than what this has right here and it comes back over and then you've got your two points of contact on the rifle so three point sling some of the others are actually going to attach to your plate carrier or your vest depending on what type of setup that you run now look i'll be honest the three point sling is really designed mainly for military contractors, people that are working in hot zones. All right, because the point of them is pretty much if you if something happens and you get blown out of the vehicle, the rifle's coming with you. So if you're able to, you can still stay in the fight with your rifle. So that's really where that comes from. From a civilian aspect, I don't really see any need for anybody to have a three-point sling. But look, if that's what you want, that's what you want. I'm not saying don't go and get it. All right, I'm just saying the main design of that is really if you're in a hot zone. So right now, society has not collapsed. We're not going to be in any type of situation like that. So I would say single point or double point. It's totally up to you. If you want the three point, go with the three point. If you want the backpack, go with the backpack. Do whatever you want to do. It's your rifle. It's your sling. You do what you want. Me personally. <clears throat> Excuse me, I like to go between single point and double point, like I said. Now, when it comes to actually putting this thing on, if you haven't seen that little video, we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So what you want to do is start out with the sling, or the sling, the rifle, in your dominant shooting hand. So your trigger, your dominant shooting hand. So my right, I'm right-handed shooter, my right hand would be on the grip here. If you want to hold it by the grip and put it on, hold it by the grip and put it on. Make sure your finger's off the trigger. A lot of times I like to grab it from the butt stop. Take your sling with your left arm. Slide your left arm through and slide your head through. There you go. And as you can see with the two point sling, see how it kind of slings across my body. All right. Now let's go ahead and pop this loose beard out of the way. Yes, my beard does get caught in this thing from time to time, but I do the work and just let it pull the hair. 
Now with a single point, see how it's right here, hanging down in the middle of my body? Yes, I could take it and push it off to the side. All right, there's a company out there. I should have went and looked it up. I can't remember the name of it. They actually make a system where you would swap out this plate back here. And what it does is the other piece to the system would hook into your belt or vest or plate carrier. And it's like a little holster almost. You slide it down in it and it locks it in place. So if you want it out of the way, now it doesn't lock it in. You know, if you start running the stuff, it's liable to bounce out. But it does give you a way to secure it a little bit more if that's something that you're looking into. Matter of fact, I will get that looked up and put their website uh, somewhere up in here, down in here, and I'll also have it down in the description. But if you don't have that, this is, again, this is why I like the two point, it just slings across the bottom. Okay, and then I can also, if I need to, I can take, all right, shuffle it around to my back. If I need to go to my back, we can just do that. Change arms, move it right around behind me depending on what I gotta do. Okay, if I'm gonna be lifting and moving stuff, there it is. Okay. Now the hunting sling. Let's talk about that for a minute, that hunting sling. So this has really got that attachment. So if you can see right here, this has got, this is where the sling would actually run through and then you'd have an attachment down here at the bottom. But the way that hunting sling would work is you would just sling it over your shoulder just like that. Probably hold on to it. Okay, you can go cross body with it depending on what you want to do. A lot of times you can reach down and just grab down around the butt stock. Okay, if you grab down around the butt stock, depending on what type of rifle you're using, buffer tube, butt stock, and with that, you can just easily grab the butt stock, flip it up, and there you go. You've got it out and it's ready to go. So a very simple way to, to use your hunting sling if that if you did not know that way. If you knew that way, great. But that's pretty much how you would sling your rifle. If you're left-handed, all right, it's gonna go in your left hand, right arm through, head through, there you go, slings across the body. Single point sling is no different. Let's go back over and let's we'll swap it out to a single point sling. And now we're down to one point of contact on the rifle. Grab it from the buck two, and then same thing. Left arm through, over your head. There you go. Don't overcomplicate these things, people. I don't know why everybody wants to overcomplicate these slings. But that's what some people tend to do is they want to overcomplicate or overcomplicate the slings. Don't. If you're right-handed, hold it in your right hand, left arm through over the head. Left-handed, hold it in your left hand, right arm through over the head. That easy. So again, you've got a single point, double point, triple point, that's your prerogative, whatever you want, whatever you like, get it, train with it, learn it, get proficient with it. QD, locking swivel, clip and hook, sling latch plate. Those are different ways, and again, you've also got the Picatinny. If you want to use the Picatinny, you've got M-Lock, and you also have key mod. So there's tons of ways to get these things to attach. Especially with this particular mag pull butt stock, I can actually attach it up here. I can run the sling through and attach it up here to the top. I can attach it up here toward the front. I can even attach it back here to the back. And there's even some other butt stocks out there that have the quick disconnect right there built into the butt stock. So plethora of options out there. That's why you know the AR is such a popular gun is the versatility you have with attachments and accessories. Don't overcomplicate your slings. These are very simple to use. 
If you do have questions, always feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is on my website. Uh, shoot me an email, phone call, text message, whatever. But do not overcomplicate these things. Get in once you figure out what you want, what you like, how you want to use it, and get some training to become more proficient with it. Also, if you are looking for a good sling or looking for some attachments on how to attach it to your rifle, please go check out our affiliate, NoOtherChoice.com. Website will be right up here or right up here somewhere. And use code SCGS5. So like South Carolina Gun School abbreviated with the number 5. SCGS5. You can also go over there, get you some swag, nice straight shirts, beanies, ball caps, everything that you need. Now, the promo code is not an option with his training. And if you want some great training, if you're in the Atlanta area, go check him out. Myself and Pivotal Defense will also be teaching in the Atlanta area toward the end of this month. Please go to our website, check that out. If you'd like to join us, get signed up because time's ticking away. August 19th and 20th is when we're going to be teaching. We're doing a handgun and medical class, so please go in and check that out. If you can join us, join us. But again, NoOtherChoice.com, SCGS5. He's got slings, sling attachments, and just about anything and everything you need for your handgun, rifle, or shotgun. So please go in and check it out. Always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.